Breaking news, breaking news. To some, but to me, I been knew that Dwight Howard was suspect. Dwight Howard had some very suspect tendencies, and there are viral videos on YouTube where he is groping men in the NBA on their genital areas. But that is for another day. This story is breaking news because... There is a man, well, Tranny, transvestite by the name of Mason Elijah, who has come out and said that he has a relationship with Dwight Howard and claims to be his ex-boyfriend. The link for this video is in the description, and I want to give a shout-out to The Hill Reporter because they broke this news. The White Howard's pastor accused of threatening Mason Elijah, a gay man Howard had a relationship with. Now, over the past decade and a half, the White Howard has become one of the more prominent stars within the NBA. The six feet 11 basketball player who played center for the Washington Wizards has suddenly found himself at the center of a sex scandal. Last night, a gay man named Mason Elijah, who claims to have had sexual relationships with Dwight Howard accused Howard of standing by while his pastor, Kevin Simmons, sexually harassed, manipulated, and threatened him. In an exclusive interview with Hill reporter Elijah tells us, I have been harassed, sexually harassed, called a faggot and a wig. I have been told in videos, as you can see below, you better move, you are a freak, bend over, faggot, and then and tell them that. I have been threatened, but my life has been threatened by Dwight Howard's pastor. I have been, I have had every gay slur said to me by Dwight Howard's pastor, Kevin Simmons, because I did not want to sign a non-disclosure agreement regarding Dwight. I did not take hush money because I was afraid they would try to say I extorted Dwight. I just wanted this situation to go away, but the threats his team and pastor made frightening me to the point where I am still afraid. Dwight Howard has done nothing to tell his team and the people he works with to leave me alone. This is my story. Elijah has been upset by the media's attempt to simply report that Dwight Howard is allegedly gay, while ignoring the allegations that Howard's pastor, Kevin Simmons, whose job is to help people, is instead doing the total opposite. He is also upset that Howard isn't standing up and telling his pastor to stop with the harassment. These comments were provided to Hill Reporter after Elijah released a series of tweets condemning Howard late last night, which reads as following. I was afraid to speak, but today my life was threatened after I was sexually harassed, threatened, and manipulated by someone I respected. My ex-boyfriend, NBA player Dwight Howard, and his camp also catfished by his disrespectful-ass pastor. Before we start, I just need to say this is really about his team and his cricket pastor threatening me, my life over an unsigned non-disclosure agreement. And he also, and he has been trying to intimidate me and into t taking hush money for what they did to me. I met Dwight a while back at Wild and Out to be exact. We made eye contact and a week later he was in my DMs. I'm used to dealing with celebrities, so automatically I told him, hit me from his Finsta fake page, so our com combo wouldn't get leaked. I mean, he is a legend. Conversation startled, started escalating to nudes being sent, escalated to me blowing his mind, and him calling me every night on Instagram video chat. Time went by and shit started getting serious. He was fine, 6'11", goofy, very charming, no wife, and never been married, so of course I was interested. I kept it real with him, he kept it real with me about everything except one thing. While many people began question, questioning the, leg, the, the legitimacy, the legit, the, the legitimacy of Elijah's claim, the story got even more intriguing as he posted videos of social media conversations with Howard as well as apparent phone calls between the two. Now, you're about to hear some of the conversations and see some of the Instagram tweets, I mean, um, DMs. Fast forward, this is what he tweeted. I'm finally face to face with Dwight Howard. And after that day, 
from my understanding, we had an understanding. So I'll decide to upload this screen here just in case his team decides to lie. Ain't no girl going to ask you this. So don't forget the link for this video is in the description. Now, here's what got me is once you hear this, this is this is crazy. Check this out. That was Dwight Howard admitting a lot. And so Mason sent out another tweet. So I find out he's basically sleeping with someone else, and here's how that went. So he has all types of proof that Dwight Howard is, is, is a full-blown bisexual man. There you have it. Dwight Howard recorded admitting to being bisexual. Um, Elijah's Twitter trend continued to show photos of a woman um, who claims to be a transgender prostitute who has also allegedly been sleeping with Howard. I thought my good sis was a prostitute, but as my friend took a deeper look into her page, she actually hosts transgender sex parties that Dwight Howard allegedly often attends. So, Yes, I lost every bit of my mind, Elijah wrote. Uh, and Elijah said that Howard was having unprotected sex, sex with multiple individuals at transgender sex parties while he was still having a relationship with Elijah. This guy, basketball fans on Twitter ha has been having a blast with Howard all night into the morning, uh, mostly for his apparent attraction to transgender women and gay men not the fact that it appears as though he harassed and threatened another human being. Elijah claims that he has a lot of other evidence proving that this is real, this is, this all really did take place. Dwight Howard has yet to address his issue. When one Twitter user suggested Howard should come out and admit his relationship as a means to help in homophobia, Elijah responded, yes, he can open doors for so many other athletes who feel like they have to hide who they are. Your talents have nothing to do with your sexuality. I know it's hard being true to yourself, but it's hard to stand by allowing people to make fun of someone for shit you do yourself. Now, I've been knew this guy was suspect. Uh, I've been had thoughts on him being a, a bisexual man, gay, whatever. Uh, all of this is proof is in the pudding. All I can say is, like this video, leave your comments, subscribe.